Hi, this is Dr. Aldrich Chan, neuropsychologist, author of the book, Reassembling Models of Reality, whose home has been happily found in W.W. Norton's Interpersonal Neurobiology series. This book was written with the effort to address the varying layers of filtration, or what I call veils, within our minds, brains, and relationships. Although it was primarily written for clinicians, Recent reviews have suggested that it is quite digestible for those simply interested in the intersection between neuroscience, philosophy, and psychology. It's also come to my attention that it can be quite beneficial for those experiencing existential wonder or any form of existential dread. One reviewer from the UK divided my book into two parts, which I thoroughly agree with, a quest for truth followed by a quest for meaning. I begin by covering territory within the level of sensation, perception, and consciousness, and glide on through several domains before reaching socio-cultural dynamics, reviewing a vast ground of the latest findings in science, the culmination of which are several insights that may completely invert the way we commonly understand human functioning. For the clinical audience, every theoretical section is followed by a clinical one. There are several novel tools that may be of assistance. For example, in Appendix A, I introduce a process-oriented conceptualization that affords the clinician the ability to track moment-to-moment -moment shifts in a patient's stream of consciousness. More specifically, the phases that information and emotions move through in order to reach increasingly mature levels of experience. For those of you who are psychodynamic or analytic, I update Wilfred Bion's grid so that it is in accord with neuroscience. This can help improve decisions related to the implementation of techniques. I also present a new way of helping individuals discover meaning, further providing tables that can be used directly in practice to help identify and chart progress. I share an interdisciplinary approach of the self and its processes and provide a novel technique I call cycling to assist with the facilitation of integration. And this emerged as a result of my research on the default mode network, imagery, and convergence zones in the brain. That being said, there are many other practical insights and methods to be found throughout the book. I invite you to join me on this journey, exploring theories on the fundamental nature of reality, the filters that compose or decompose our reality as we experience it, and how to best prepare yourself for the tricks that our mind brains like to play on us. Thank you for your attention.